Just when I was finally about to believe that Islam is the religion of peace, love, and candy-coated raindrops, Ali Dawa tweeted a prayer request for Allah to curse me. The smarter half of Islam's ultimate dumb and dumber routine pleaded. Every Muslim should say Amin and retweet this. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cause a disease or an illness to inflict those individuals who have desecrated the Quran. May it be so severe that they never forget till the day they die and in the hereafter. Amin. Remember this tweet. So Ali Dawa is praying for that cave demon who possessed his fake prophet to give me a disease. Now, to be fair, some Muslims objected to Ali Dawa's prayer. For instance, wouldn't it be better if we made a dua asking Allah to soften and guide their hearts to Islam and to help them understand the true essence of our religion despite their desecration, which probably comes from a lack of understanding? But the overwhelming majority of responses were in wholehearted agreement with Ali Dawa. Amin, 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 Amin. Wait, what? Et tu, hello, Homer. You send me emails like we're best buddies, but you're praying for your fake prophet's fake god to curse me? Why would you be the nicest guy in the world in your emails, but call down curses on me when you're around Ali Dawa? Oh, I remember. The motto of your prophet's companions was, we smile in the face of some people, although our hearts curse them. Since I'm a Christian, it would never occur to me to curse Ali Dawa and his followers in return. In Luke 6.28, Jesus said, Bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. So, may the Lord Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for sins and rose from the dead, bless Ali Dawa and his fans with good health and a long life. May the risen Lord Jesus guide these men out of Islam, the ideology that's corrupting them and convincing them that they need to curse and kill those who are trying to help them. May Jesus especially protect their children from people like Ali Dawa, who once admitted on video that if his daughter reached puberty at the age of nine, he would tell her that she's ready for marriage. May the risen Lord Jesus guide these men and their families to the truth. We pray this in the mighty name of Jesus, and all the Christians said, Amen. Notice, Christians are commanded to love people. Ali Dawa showers people with abuse. He wants Allah to curse people with diseases. He acknowledges that if he achieves his goal of establishing an Islamic state, a lot of people will be executed. So he has contempt for people, but he demands respect for his ideology. I'm the reverse. I demand respect for people, but I have contempt for dangerous and violent ideologies. When Ali Dawa and Muhammad Hijab, the ultimate avatars of Islam, abuse and threaten people, I tell them exactly what I think of the ideology that compels them to despise human beings who are created in the image of God. When they harass women with veiled threats of rape and torture, and then tell us to respect the book and the prophet that trained them to behave this way, I say no. Ali Dawa, no matter how much you've been corrupted by your religion, you're still a human being. And so I'm commanded to love you. But I'm not commanded to love your religion. I'm not commanded to respect an ideology that calls non-Muslims the worst of creatures and that demands my execution and that would allow people like you to rape my wife and enslave my children. And so when you curse me, in the name of Allah, I won't curse you back. Instead, I'll say that due to your threats, I'm shaking in my custom Quran skin shoes. <laughs>
was only a matter of time before a genius like me came up with the idea of Quran skin shoes. Shoes are always falling apart, but Allah promises to perfectly preserve His words. So, if you want a pair of shoes that will last forever, just make your shoes out of the Quran. Keep in mind, the only reason the Quran is being desecrated all over the internet is that Muhammad Hijab is too stubborn and arrogant to remove some tweets attacking women. Until he removes them, the desecration will continue. Now, if you like my new shoes, you're going to love my upcoming origami tutorial. I call it Quranagami. Take down the tweets, Hijab. Or don't. Totally up to you how far this goes.